What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. This video is part of a series that I'm doing on weapons in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Zombies that I would consider fairly decent in the mode but are overlooked by the community since they are not necessarily considered meta. Previously, I looked at a conversion kit on the Sidewinder. Today, we're looking at another conversion kit. This is actually on the WSP9. And this thing absolutely rips. Let's go. Submachine guns are in a fantastic place, especially when it comes to the zombies mode, since they really have a combination of all the best things that you're looking for from a weapon, meaning high mobility for you as the player, a decent magazine size and ammo reserve, decent rate of fire, decent damage per bullet, the list goes on and on. And absolutely, the WSP9 just by itself, without messing with any conversion kits, anything like that, is already a really, really good weapon. However, the Broodmother .45 kit that you can get now for this weapon actually turns this from a submachine gun into more like a hybrid AR, and that's really where this thing starts shining. As you can see in the footage in the background, even though there's a smaller magazine size and the fire rate is not necessarily that fast, the damage per bullet of this weapon is insanely good. And that paired with the fact that you can get a very, very fast reload off it, especially if you're using a specific tonic for that, means that this gun is just really, really good at running, gunning in the tier three area, killing normal zombies in that area, but then also taking on bosses and you know some of the VIP targets. On the screen here right now is the way that I chose to build it and the one that you're seeing in the background footage. However, you do have quite a bit of, let's say, optimization and changes that you can make here based on your own preference. First and foremost, the first modification slot is, of course, the Brood Mod 45 kit, which basically turns this weapon from the submachine gun into a 22 round kind of like mini AR in a way. Now, what this does is it actually disables quite a few of the slots. There's no way for you to actually increase this magazine size. So it means that when you pack a punch this weapon, you are going to be sitting at 44 rounds. So yes, that is not a lot of rounds, but that's why it's so important for us to have a fast reload so that that doesn't necessarily bother you all that much. Now, in the case of the barrel, I'm using the WSP Optac Long Barrel. And what that does is it actually also makes it so that you can't equip a muzzle on there. So if you use a different barrel or something like that, you might be able to put a silencer or something like that onto the weapon if you want. However, I don't think that that's necessarily needed. I'm using the Intlas Cast 14 optic on there, which is also an aftermarket part, because that then also gives us the functionality of a laser built into it as well. So we kind of like get two attachments for the price of one. And then last but not least, in the stock, I'm using the Duster Heavy Stock, and in the rear grip, I'm using the Marauder Grip. I would say overall, my favorite thing about this weapon is probably the fact that it's kind of like a no mess, no fuss setup. There's not really a lot for you to control with this weapon, so there's not necessarily any super bad recoil to speak of. And there's no intricacies to it that you have to learn. This is just slap in the attachments, go out and murder a whole shitload of zombies kind of situation, which I'm a huge fan of, and I think most of you will be as well. Enjoy. And that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it this far. Let me know in the comments down below which weapons you are still enjoying using in the mode. We have season two about to drop around the corner, which will of course bring a few new weapons in. Plus we did get some new weapons with the season two reloaded, which I'm currently still testing in the mode and seeing if they impress me. That's of course the HRM and the Evolvia, which is another LMG uh, from the TAC license. Other than that, it's just super important to me that you have a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Until next video, fucking cheers.